hi to Jim in Colorado. Jim? Hey, how's it going there? Uh, I was just calling to say that uh, most of our uh, cities and stuff like Boston and Chicago were uh, Indian villages. Yeah, the Indians and, uh, had a few, they've been here for quite some time. Yeah. Had a few hundred years themselves to figure out where to live. Yeah, that's right. And then we we killed them with uh, <laughs> the and, uh, <laughs> killed those motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm glad he said that. That's funny. Dude. Well, they, <laughs> and we murdered them off, took their land because they said, "Damn, these Indians are living pretty damn good." Uh, they did all the work for us, and then we yeah. swept in and said, "Yeah, this is Don't a place to live here." No. <laughs> the winter, no buffalo come. <laughs> No, build them here. No. Big wind <laughs> sent down to destroy planes. We live... Oh, so you're saying here's cool? Yes, here, good place. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank now, you. You know something? That's actually genius, man. Anything that mm. makes sense makes sense to me, man. That, that, seems that to make makes sense. a lot of sense. The Indians came. They were here. They were, How long have you mm. been here? Mm, two. Many moons. Many moon. <laughs> many, many moon. Right. And it's like, all right, nice talking to you. Here's some liquor mm. and some corn. Right. Nice talking to you. Anything bad happen here? No, but last village, big spinning wind god come. <laughs> Take village away. Uh, spinning wind god. Okay, we don't live with spinning wind god. Right, right. right. I gave my daughter last month, me give daughter last month, still, spinning wind gun. Spinning wind gun. <laughs> then we move, we move further so more warmth, and we go to water, but then big spinning water god come and take village away. Oh, the spinning water god. We don't want, I don't like the sound of him. Where, did, where else he go? I like the sound of him. Built, uh, went west, further toward where sun set him, and uh, set then... Big shaky God, shake our village down. Right. Glad, glad, God. glad you're seeing it my way finally. <laughs> that's See? what the Indians are okay, logic that's, in this. That's, yeah. that's, okay. There's like, some logic in I this. I go with that because at least it gives the Indians the. Uh, <laughs> I like a story that makes white people the, white people the villain. The bad guy. <laughs> Obi's story, white people was like, hey man, we came here and we were building. Now, that is what we did. But it's like, okay, the Indian thing I can go with. I, I said, like, answer. I mean, a long time ago. I mean, Tornado Alley is not all of a sudden going to be. The East Coast, <laughs> big wind, big spinning we were big God. spinning windom God. We we absolutely, as white people, were not the bad guys in that either. I gotta defend Whitey when it comes to the engines and the United States of America. Uh, Patrice is looking at me like I'm insane. How? You know what? This that's so outrageous. Please it, defend slavery first. <laughs> first. <laughs> that's so outrageous that you would say we're not the bad guys in this? I have to explain why. You. That's why they own the, They own these casinos now because of your goddamn guilt for that's what you did to them. Go. That's not guilt. That's them finally coming around and saying let's assimilate and find out how to make some money off of these white people. No, that's like we, because they didn't, they said, okay, listen, this is what we fucked you over so bad. Mm -hmm. We're going to give you this land and we're not going to, our government has nothing to do with what you do. So they got smart and built fucking casinos yeah. and they can't, they can't tax them. Right. They can't do all of that shit. It was like, it was classic. We're sorry for what we did. Right. Because we'd have absolutely been able to say we're going to tax you we're gonna do this and go fuck yourself what are you gonna do about right, it right man yeah. it's guilt but but in the beginning here i'm talking when we first came over as a as a race of explorers and conquerors criminals well no uh, you know what it's it's a different time now <laughs> does it uh, let me let me ask you something it sure you ever, is you ever play monopoly <laughs> Do you ever play Monopoly? Yes. Doesn't your strategy change from the beginning of the game to the middle to the end of the game? Yes. The beginning of the game of what I call civilization on Earth. Okay. I call was it the beginning of imperialism <laughs> it myself. It was different. But... You went somewhere. If you were stronger than who was there, you took their shit. If someone else was stronger than you, they took your shit. Up until a certain point when we started figuring out... Maybe this isn't right now because of the times we're living in. But at the beginning, mm. it was all a matter of coming over, <clears throat> kicking ass, and taking the property. Conquering. The, mid, the beginning of Monopoly. What Are do you, you do? Saying... Click, click, click. Move your dog. Move your thimble. Buy. Buy it. I'm buying. I'm buying this. I'll buy that. Everything you land on, you buy, buy, buy. Then once you have the shit, now you start negotiating. I'll trade you uh, Park Place for all the yellows. You, but I'll how do you tra trade what you took that is, it, you, it's, it's the beginning of the game. Yeah. It's you're a conqueror. That's you're right. leaving your nation, is going to the, some unknown the land. Those weak, oh, yeah. those they weak saw that was the time. If they can't hold you, their you, shit, the criminals came from England. 
with muskets. Criminals. And- and they were like all these poor people who all they had to do was was relax. They didn't eat know their turkey. They could have come here and there could have been fifty foot giants with laser beam eyes uh, and kick their fucking ass. The balls they had to come over here, <laughs> oh not knowing God. who was over here. You mother! It was their luck <laughs> that there was some fucking travoy dragon you know not invented the wheel yet, motherfucker. You know what, Anthony? Massa Johnson was an adventurer. I just realized that. <laughs> <laughs> it was a stroke of luck that there were people that hadn't even invented the wheel yet that was sitting here hunting, living off the land, that we could come here and kick their ass and take their shit. But that's not a defense for me. It is absolutely. That is what was happening in the world back then. It was the norm. That is absolutely, it was accepted behavior in this world. So now it's not accepted behavior. Right, the game changed. So, but we still, we still embrace the, 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 what you're saying, how we got it, that this how country knows it. it was wrong, but you still embrace what you what you did. You realize the ideology is wrong, but you nope. still embrace what you did. I do. It wasn't oh, a lot of people don't. It's not a common, it's not a popular uh, ideology to have. I, I embrace give it. Give it back to the Indians. I look saying. at it like it there wasn't, was... It, it wasn't wrong for the time. No. <laughs> you hopped on ships. That's shift. all the rage, conquering. What? It <laughs> wasn't conquering. That's what people did back then. What are you doing? I'm an explorer. I'm a conqueror. Yeah. That was pretty much when, it. When you look back now, it looks, uh, looks a little ugly, sure, but at the you time, know, it wasn't of wrong. Balls, you had to have to hop on a wooden ship. That's Take right. a couple Why? of months to cross an ocean. Why? When you was relaxing in Spain. Because you, you needed more land. To send your people where? To, to kick the, some ass, to be the was, top dog. But there was never immigration until 1900. The criminals... Let me tell you. How could you be a criminal when there was no one had a say on who owned what? Because England threw the stinking pilgrims out. That's what Australia is. Australia is a prison criminals. colony. A bunch of criminals that England they got rid criminals. of. This country was founded by criminals. There's no they weren't explorers. Sent. No, Australia's different. Their criminals were sent over there. And so they were sent but here. The pilgrims were fucking criminals from, from England. Right, they were having problems with the English government. They came. They were adventurers. Oh, yes, they, they, they were. were. You know, they would they get the fuck out of our country is. That's, right. what they, that's what they were. They weren't like explorers. Okay, I'll give you that they were get the fuck out of our country, but they were explorers. They didn't know what was in there. They didn't know what was over here. They were thrown out. If I throw you out the house, okay, here's what they call homeless people. Now. Homeless people should be called explorers because you throw a motherfucker out. <laughs> it's like he's an explorer now because he, he, he lives in a box 80, 80 blocks away. <laughs> hey, this motherfucker just explored 12th Avenue. <laughs> I invented 12th <laughs> Avenue. You know, I found it. I found it. It, 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 it's, it it's they, not, were they weren't sent, explorers. They were sent over. Columbus was sent over as an explorer to explore the new world. He was a conqueror. I give you him. And he yeah. didn't even conquer everybody, but he was a conqueror. Well, that guy conquerors. was a conqueror. Hey. England was conquerors. How about right. how about the tribes in Africa? You don't think they were doing the same shit? They're still doing that shit. Yes, yeah, those motherfuckers think... are still cutting each other up. You don't think the tribes land. in Africa are looking for better places to live? And Can I be honest with you? I'm going to be honest with you two yeah. white gentlemen. Yeah, I'm going right, to tell sir. you something yeah. about my history. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One thing that I never grasped, and I have to grasp, somebody has to teach me this, yeah. is how were... Because that's the first thing white people say when it comes to slavery. You sold yourself. Right, right. I don't understand what that means. I don't understand how black people had to do with slavery. I don't get it. I There's don't like get, the, vi- the village like head muckety-muck guy who would make a deal with the uh, Europeans uh, that, uh, that would come over with the boats and uh, sell his people or another tribe that they would capture to the uh, whitey. So Roots was, was, was a lie. That white um, people just came in with a couple of things and tied around your neck and stole yeah, some black people? I think it would be a difficult for a bunch of Europeans to, to circumnavigate the jungles to go finding you guys and bringing them into a boat. <laughs> find you guys. I think it's easier <laughs> to get a monkey muck that knows the lay of the land. Go yeah. find you guys. Who needs their Who needs their ad? You put a middleman in there. He you knows right. where the good Fuck spots that. are. You go risk getting your ass eaten. I'm you not, think I'm I could be on the shore here close to the boat? <laughs> coming out the jungle. <laughs> they eat assholes. <laughs> Don't go in there. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, fuck that. that. Poop. Hey, don't come make back, a deal. nigga. Make a deal with somebody that keep knows my the lay of the land. land. Y'all just accept that shit. That, that, white people always think a way to absolve themselves from guilt. It's like, hey, that's what they was doing back then, look, conquering. Look, hey, y'all, we made deals. Once we figured out you guys actually were human beings, then, <laughs> then that's when the problem started, and it had to be remedied, and slavery had to be abolished. I, but at first, I don't believe slavery. Gotta, I don't. I, I don't believe slavery. Uh, this could. You gotta. You gotta give yeah, it. I don't think it was. I don't think it was personal at first. Right. I mean, it's a business. business. Because now I just don't think that black people aren't slaves because anybody became good people i just think what you gonna do have a nigga fax something you know fax this nigga or, <laughs> yeah. or hey you we know got, we gotta educate you gotta give us a break man you know like, we're, we're we're process this shit, yeah. you know we're, what i mean it's like i think that it it, it became it just reached a point that where slavery wasn't a viable thing anymore it, it wasn't vi it wasn't because i don't think that we're not slaves because it's such a wonderful place now. It's just it. It just it is what it is. Techno it's just no place for it. When the cotton gin came around, and they don't, they didn't. It yeah. could pick thousands more whatever pound right, of right. cotton yeah, an yeah. hour than a black guy. It's like, hey, who needs slavery? Nice talking to you. And I'm not saying, oh, it wasn't racist, because that was one of the things implemented I think there were to keep a few us in things, control. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it was also Lincoln's idea uh, of of fucking the South. Right. The, if the South ran on slaves, ran on slaves, and you take that away, and now you're fighting a war with the South, all of a sudden you take away what d does their work. That's why Lincoln, Lincoln wasn't this, you know, I love black people. Right, no. Free this, slave, this is morally that. reprehensible, and we, that's like the selling point. Uh -huh. But the truth of the matter was, I want to break the South's spine. That's what we're I gonna think, do. I think that this country is, it, like you said, poor people. It's the, it, the, it's a thing for poor people. It's a, it, it's, it's very sensible to put two po a poor white man. The best weapon you can use against a poor white man is convince him that this country's yours. And really, it's not yours. It's to convince him, like, hey man, you know what? There's a nigga living better than you. Some rich <laughs> white guy going, a nigga's down the street living better than you. <laughs> go get him, white man. This is the white man's country. Go get him. <laughs> Because you don't go get them. Because it, it's, a, it's a dream you're selling, that, that entitlement shit where you go, how the hell can I be broke? How can I How can I watch, this is why white people hate T.O., and how can I watch this nigga who's making this much millions of dollars, and I should be doing that, and this is my goddamn country. Do you think that thinking is still going on widespread? Motherfucker, people from Poland. Entitlement. Are, people from Poland are in the Klan saying, get out of my country. Pe Polish descendants are saying you are and go back to africa or whatever you're gonna do and i'm like you just got here last week you, your people just got here you polack how can you be racist it's a it's not it's not the fault of the people that we're this way when it comes to racism we need racism I don't to think keep it going i don't think it's racism <clears throat> though i don't think it's race i think it's just economics i think any poor guy looks and goes i'm entitled white black or anything black guys will walk around all the time and go I ain't for working at McDonald's, motherfucker. I see this guy at IBM making money. I ain't fucking. And, and it's like, how about you start there? Wait, when'd you and work that yourself shit? up? Uh, some TV uh, show. Yeah, it was, I, I was on last night. No motherfucking McDonald's. No, it, it, it just it's it's people seem entitled. Yeah, they look at other more successful people, black or white, and go, you know, what the fuck? Why is this guy living better it's than me? It's more divide and conquer. Because yeah. most most of the McDonald's is nothing but young black kids, but that's wow. another fuel mm -hmm. for these these goofy Africans and Haitians that come over, and they go, you disgust. They show they do what you did because they, yeah. there's a Haitian doing an impression of a black kid going, I ain't gonna work in no motherfucking McDonald's. So that they go, how can they do this when they they have the, the team with the team in McDonald's? <laughs> I I work so hard to make not just a one cent, one a mess cent. <laughs> they pay you five dollars an hour just to flip a bu a burger. <laughs> Well, here's a question I got. Get on, man. Here's a question I got. Why are you guys why? still holding a grudge? What? We have to. Why? I'm gonna tell you why. We turned you on to America. You know what? Let me tell you. Let me this tell is you. A great place. Let me tell you. You what wouldn't have be here, here for America. For ready? Jesus. Ready? Here is the problem. All right. And we All had right. nothing to do with this shit. It, but you take, but you take white. You take whiteness. 
whiteness, whiteness and blackness, this is another thing. We have that color thing that black people took black. I, like I said, I'm half Asian. Like, I'm really not from slavery. For right. real, for real. Like, my family, it doesn't go back that far. Mm -hmm. just, but I take slavery. You take whiteness. You know what I'm saying? Right. When you you do you have a personal history. You're not a colonial white guy no, who no. owned a slave. You're Irish, right? No. What are you? I'm a mutt. You're then you're not, you know, I'm a here's little the problem Italian. that black people have. Ready? Here's the fucking problem. Mm -hmm. The reason why it seems that Jews, right, have moved on from the Holocaust, meaning the Holocaust is a separate entity from their existence. They go, this is a part of our history, but we they done moved on. Never They're to like, be forgotten. Never to be forgotten. But they would still do business with a smile with Mercedes Benz. A exactly. Yeah. But what happened with black folks? Here's the problem. We, I said this years ago, we do not have a Hitler. We do not have a, a, a group that we can go, like white people are our Hitler. We have a color that we just don't like white people because it's that's the mustache y'all got. The <laughs> white skin is the Hitler mustache. We don't, there's no finality for us. It's just like, okay, you free, nigga. Uh, can we have, like, you know, this guy, John uh, Skimpenbrook, who started slave? We don't even have a... Uh, the, 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 but we don't have the originator of slavery. We have a picture of the motherfucker. No closure. And no closure. You need the guy. We, we, we need America's something great. to go, hey, not, America is great, but, but you got to still be... be on, you need America's a guy that great. can be put up on a dartboard. That we can go, okay, be, right. okay, white person, I don't have to dislike We're, you. Just because you're white, I can dislike mm -hmm. uh, Hitler face over right, here. Right, right. I can, you need a symbol. Jews have Hitler. Right. And about eight other motherfuckers you can name by name. Himmler, Heimlich, uh, 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 Mengele. They got watch a that bunch Heimlich of, maneuver. That's when they sweep around the earth. Is it Heydrich? Not Heimlich. Heydrich. Whatever. Well, Heydrich. Where would, your, where would your people be if it wasn't for slavery? Would you would you have come over to well, America? Would you have come over to America under your terms? We would then? be we would be in Africa, not not comparing our existence to anything. We would we would be like huh, we wouldn't we'd be in Africa living how we live, but there's yeah. no there would be no damn I wish I was over there with them white people and Indians. It, we would just be living how we live. Who the hell knows how we be? There living? would probably also be immigration, people coming over here being successful. We would probably went to without England. any other right, which is what England? they're doing now. England yeah. England is dealing with Africans now. That's why there's there's racism in Ireland now. Yeah, because there's no, there wasn't because there was no no blacks there. Now mm -hmm. there's blacks there, and they're like, what the who are you motherfuckers? But they need blacks to come over and work. They need they're growing like that. Yeah. So I'm saying that's what our anger is. Our anger is we just we we just free, and now we just live with you. Like, hey, how you doing? We, uh, we, don't, even, we don't bother with you guys anymore. We're, it's all about the Arabs. Least, Jews, they don't look. <laughs> Jews have a way to not Arabs are the new niggas. That's why I'm so that's happy right. that they're yeah. how they are right now. Now we got somebody else. Somebody else that a black on. person can know what it's like to be a racist. White and black alike can just not stand somebody can, can, can not really like Arabs hate together. See, this uh, might together. help us all out. <laughs> that Come on, can let's hold hands. Thank you, terrorists. Hold